Oh, yeah. <sighs> now, you're going to introduce Thornak? Yes. Do you need uh, Johnny Carson? Do they, don't they start the, uh, yo, you know, the yogi music? Yes, they do. Okay. And yeah. you, right. You're not here yet. No, I haven't done this in a All long right. time. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now, coming from a frightening pit that reeks of death and disease, a place that makes Bosnia look like a Four Seasons hotel. <laughs> 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 Smoky Selena's recording studio. What? Don't, don't mention know what Selena. Is <laughs> a man oh, boy. of less weenie. Oh dear. Let me start over. You better give this to Ed. <laughs> Is a man of less weenie than brains and less brains than a mongoloid flea? Yeah, you thought my job was easy, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't read this first. Uh. Some phraseology here. It's Sternak, the improbable. Yeah, don't look for punctuation. <laughs> it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Uh, right. Sim Salabim. Yucca, yucca, hi, yucca, honey. Where's my turban? We have a TV show now, Fafa Fa, Fui. Where's the dot in your forehead? Where is the dot in my forehead? Yucca, hi, yucca, hi, yucca, hucka, hucka, hi. I am Sternak, the improbable. A great visitor of the East. Ed, is your microphone working? Hi -oh. oh, that's very good. <laughs> Before I do my prediction, yes. I would just like to say, on a personal note, yes. how saddened I am by the news that Ed's son died. It's, yes. It is tough to lose a son, as I know. I understand that you uh, rushed to his side. Yes. Yes, I did. It's, it's worse losing a hot girlfriend, oh, Sahib. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So you're not too broken up, is that what uh, you said? No. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Cry and you water down your vodka. <laughs> Ed, did you ever meet your son? <laughs> I hardly knew mine, the one that died. Ricky. Yeah. Very Went good. off the sign of a ledge while he was taking some pictures. Not a good policy yes, to meet Ricky. your children, is it? I was a good father, though. I showed one of Ricky's pictures at the end of one of my Tonight Shows. Touching moments. I noticed you shed a few tears then. Oh, yes. The cameras were on. Yes. <laughs> It is time now to make predictions. There are some people who are saying that uh, Johnny has gained weight since leaving The Tonight Show. Yes, I put on a few pounds. Yes. Uh, uh, you would too if you sat around counting your liver spots. Uh, so, Ed, did your kid work a friggin' day in his life, or your, were your boys like mine? Uh, I'm very distraught. All right, take it easy, Michael. Ed. Michael, there I go. Uh -huh. Michael. Mm. Did he take it? pictures? No. Uh -huh. No, he was a good boy. He didn't boy. even do that. My turban doesn't fit so good, Robin. Well, not over headphones. Mm. Hey, look at it this way, Ed. It could have been worse. You could have had Bing Crosby's kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now I will open my first envelope. The first envelope. What is the uh, answer? Christopher Walken. <laughs> Christopher Walken? Christopher Walken. <laughs> I don't know if Ed's capable of doing his job. He's uh, free. He better be. I'll kick his ass right out of here. <laughs> Spend a week in California with Ivan Reitman. <laughs> Christopher Walken. That's, Christopher the Walken. That's the answer. What's the question? What is something the Reeve family will probably never see? Oh. Chris Reeve. <laughs> May your rollerblading, <laughs> yoga, and horseback riding and tennis playing partner be too tired to talk with you. <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy wider. Frank Sinatra's mother and Mike Tyson. Easy Wider. Easy Wider. Frank Easy wider. Sinatra's mother. Frank, Frank Sinatra's, Sinatra's mother. mother. And what? Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. 
famed black boxing champion. <laughs> yes, that's true, Ed. <laughs> Name a paper, a scraper, and a raper. Uh. <laughs> Easy Rider. Frank Sinatra's hey. mother. And Mike Tyson. Okay. May your movie project leap forward with the speed of a snail. <laughs> The uh, Caliph of Comedy. Be quiet, Ed. The who? I almost forgot my pain. <laughs> be quiet, Ed. May half of your studio microphones work on any given day. <laughs> May you start a promotional junket for a book you haven't started to write yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good plan. hi -o. hi -o. Hell. What is the uh, hey next answer? Mine shaft. Mine, Mine shaft. shaft. <laughs> Mine shaft. Mine shaft. Mine shaft. Mine shaft. <laughs> what does Arnold Schwarzenegger call his penis? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thou art truly wise. <laughs> May you be force-fed cheese plucked from the many folds on Dominic Barbara. <laughs> May the bulk of the callers to your radio show be close to ape. <laughs> May an armed O.J. Simpson catch you humping one of his white babes. Yucca. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are there more envelopes? The bottom of the fifth. The bottom of the fifth? The bottom of the fifth. I didn't know whether that was a joke or an answer. <laughs> the bottom of the fifth. The bottom, the bottom of the fifth. Of the, fifth. the bottom. <laughs> when was it time for Mickey Mantle to open another fifth? Oh. <laughs> Mick. I hope. That was going to be a liquor joke. Number seven. May Nick. someone dear to you seek psychic help. <laughs> the jig is up. The jig <laughs> is up. The jig is up. <laughs> oh, dear. The jig is up. The jig, the jig is, is up. up. What, is, what could that be? What does Mark Furman say every time Daryl Strawberry comes to the plate? Oh. <laughs> oh, the jig is up. <laughs> May God play a prank and bestow you with a grain of rice between your legs. I hope. I hope. Hmm. May you marry a 22-year-old and 20, 20 years later be stuck with a 42-year-old. <laughs> Hey -yo. Hey -yo. Make room for daddy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Make room for daddy. Do we really have to seal these envelopes? <laughs> Make room for daddy. Make room for daddy. By the time you get them open, I've forgotten the answer. What did Man Cow say when he called the funeral parlor? <laughs> 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 Got any funny ones? Hey -oh. <laughs> hmm, may your staff drink, gamble, stutter, smoke, and work like turtles. <laughs> Here's the joke. <laughs> no joke, the reality is funny. <laughs> may a Jersey hairdresser named Ralph attach himself to you like a barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> that ball is going, going gone. Oh. That ball is going, going gone. I wonder what this could be. That ball is going, going gone. That ball is going, going gone. Can't wait to hear the answer or the question. Can't wait to hear the answer. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just hope I read it better than you did on the intro. <laughs> Anybody could do that. That ball is going, going, gone. That All ball right. is going, going, gone. Do the play-by-play -play for Richard Belzer's cancer operation. Oh. 
May you spend five hours a day in the bulk of your career with a man who drinks his yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. A little inside, but funny. Yes. Really funny. <laughs> May your general manager have 18 holes in his head. <laughs> Scott the engineer, Quaaludes, and Susan Smith. Ooh, Scott the engineer. Scott the engineer. Quaaludes. Quaaludes and, and Susan Smith. <laughs> Name a frowner, a downer, and a drowner. Oh. <laughs> May you sit through an entire electric comic book band practice. <laughs> Blood on the Bronco. Blood, Blood on, on the, the Bronco. Bronco. Little O.J. Simpson humor, I bet. Blood on the Bronco. Blood on the Bronco. I can't wait to see how you made this funny. <laughs> <laughs> Describe the scene after Robin went riding during her time of the month. <laughs> May Clarence Clemens want to cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> May you be cornered by a cured Robin Quivers. May Baby Jackson make the mustard for your next hot dog. <laughs> May your wife make out with strangers and call it show business. Oh. Hey. Well, how much longer will he be a stranger just making out with him so much? I hold in my hand the last envelope. Oh, okay. hey. Hey. May you be invited to a book signing and be billed for all of your security. Yes. A pussy with big lips. Oh. A pussy with big lips. What? <laughs> Are you all right over there, Ed? Ed lost his I'm in, son. I'm in mourning. I guess uh, you're all broken up. You yeah, know, Ed, I lost yeah. Ricky. Yeah, I know you did. Uh, and I was there for you, buddy. Well, I'm not there for you. Oh. Oh. Now, what's the answer again? A pussy with big lips. A pussy with big lips. <laughs> what do you get when you cross Baba Booey with a cat? Oh. <laughs> a Sim pussy with big lips. He is. <laughs> I am Sternak. I Goodbye. Goodbye. The pun jab of punchlines. It is. It is still kissing my ass. Please, kiss it better. Ed. I miss you. <laughs> Hello. I've still got it. The Wizard of Whoopi. <laughs> we hadn't done this in so long, I forgot you had to rehearse these stupid opening Jackie. There you go. <laughs> no one said it was easy reading Jackie's handwriting. Mm. Well, anyway, uh, congratulations on Sternak. <laughs> yeah. Magnificent. Yeah. Another great appearance. We'll take a break. We'll be back. We'll your phone calls right after this. <laughs> yes. I heard talk about Sally Struthers the other day, and I was really kind of pissed off because... Every time we're on tax, I'm going to get my check. I've been sending, a, you know, 50 or 100 bucks, whatever I can afford. And I saw her on TV a few weeks ago. There's two commercials. She does that hunger thing, and then she does that freaking school. First of all, if those kids ate her, they would all be fed. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm really pissed because I'm not going to send my money anymore until she loses some weight. Yeah, you know, She's a real pig. Sally Struthers, she, she must walk into these villages when they go to shoot the commercials. And these starving, bloated Biafrans with the flies around their heads. <laughs> they must keel over. They must go, oh, my God, look at this woman. That's not right. She's That's why we have no bloated. food. Yeah, she must know where the drop-off point for the care packages is. She's the wrong representative for them anyhow. Yeah. 
did they bring her on the plane with the food she ate at all? <laughs> oh, is she a horse? It was a cargo plane. I mean, that is like teasing. You know, that's like you're starving, and you know, you, you know, like let's say you haven't gotten laid in 30 years, and all of a sudden Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, you see him doing it on the beach, and you go out of your mind. It's like a tease. It's like you know, you're like, oh man, look at that guy. Why is he getting her? And all of a sudden, you're starving. I mean, you're starving. You don't have things to eat, not for three days. No water, no fresh three water, no days food. Three days, ever. It's unbelievable. You've gotten a grain of rice from the UNICEF. And then all of a sudden, this big fatso comes rubbing in your face. Look, I eat too much. I have an eating disorder. Look at me. Well, what she doesn't you lose weight, I'm not giving baby. her any more money. Oh, you poor kid. She doesn't lose any weight, I'm not giving any more money. Mm. So when was got the a few last months. time you ate? Three days ago? I can't imagine it. <laughs> I just ate two minutes ago. <laughs> I had a Twix bar. I can't go for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom. The whole village can eat. <laughs> hey, speaking of bathrooms, on Friday's show, we did something uh, quite entertaining. <laughs> Our bathroom, you know, stinks. So we had a company come down and install special devices, chemical devices. To eliminate the smell of duty. It's still working? And it, not only is it still working, it was working fine, and then Bucky went, and he went to the bathroom and broke the whole thing. Stop it. Are you kidding me? It exploded when Bucky oh, no. made duty. No, it didn't. Yeah? It Unbuckable. blew up a bowl. The only person that can't stand up to is Bucky, our sales manager. Well, I told you he was going in there to take the challenge. No, actually, it's working great, and even even it's Bucky-proof. <laughs> Frustrates him. Yeah. Not even he believed that he Well, could Bucky be mad. went in there. He was circling the bathroom for about five minutes after we installed the chemicals. And he's walking around. I see him with a big smile on his face. I'm going to beat this thing. <laughs> and uh, he sat down. Every, like Alexa Hente, he was in there. <laughs> Challenge. And he challenged it. They, 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 they battled he for... He did his best. He did his best. He gave it his all. He was sweating, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it held up. So, what can I tell you? It smells sweet as roses. Do the TV commercial. <laughs> <laughs> he should be this spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ed Moyer was in... Ed Moyer is our national sales manager, whatever they call him. And he's in there, and I go, Ed... Did you just make duty? And he goes, yes. Yes. I said, well, it smells pretty good in here. I guess this thank thing works. You. He said, thank you. He goes, but when Bucky sat down, oh. it blew up. Oh, it blew up the whole toilet. <laughs> Too fragrant for me. Everybody, everybody accuses everyone else everybody of smelling Everybody else it. knows who's smelly. Yeah, huh? believe me, it's Ed who's plenty smelly. <laughs> he smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> so anyway, to give you an update, yes, it still works. It's even Bucky proof. But it amazes me how many guys are going here. Oh, it's it constant. seems like everybody waits to get to work. It's like a game preserve. Yeah, can't they go at home? It's like a game preserve. It's like animals. <laughs> <laughs> you guys must eat a ton of food before they come here. Man. <laughs> All right, let's go get the girl. I just want my bowels. I'm ready. Clean out first. <laughs> Feel twelve pounds away. lighter. <laughs> Feel good now. I'm gonna go sell. It's one of those cliche bathroom conversations. Ah, five pounds lighter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Same old thing. Yeah, you just rent it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little little witty things to say after you come off the ball, and you know you just stunk up the place. Uh, yeah, you just rent it. Yeah, somebody uh, kill an owl. <laughs> somebody die in here. <laughs> Water's cold and deep. Yeah, <laughs> cliche man talk. Yeah, <laughs> just gave birth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bowl winder. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the call. Hey, the spanner. I got one more thing for you. Yeah. Are you still picking your nose while you're in the back of the limo? Because I'm an avid nose picker while I'm driving. I just got to know. I do it all the time back there. Yeah. And Ronnie the complains because he sees the flecks on the floor. That's what I was going to ask you. If you use a tissue, do you end up wiping it on the uh, wheel well? Hey, man, I'm paying a lot of money hand? for that limo. I should use that as my <laughs> tissue. You get services. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm paying a lot of money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's really true. I dig in with my thumb. Right here. I can pull stuff out. And now that we have the e-camera, I'm always picking my nose, and they go, oh, you were picking your nose, and then you ate it. One thing, I don't eat my nose pickings. Thank you. 
But you, you know, how now, do you know if they caught you? Maybe it's something unconscious. It might have looked that way, but I don't. I would never eat it. Ugh. Even I have m- morality and scruples. Right, you're putting your hand by your butt <laughs> when you fart so you can smell it, but That's you different. wouldn't eat. That's a different level. You know, yeah, I just pulled something right out here for a oh, beer. That's <laughs> a souvenir. Green gold. <laughs> Try it, man. I'm famous. Green gold. <laughs> green gold. <laughs> Yeah. Mining for green gold. <laughs> I had a friend who used to pick his nose and put it on your shoulder and say you're a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's selling I had a joke. A friend of <laughs> I always got a friend people. that did something. <laughs> I had a friend who used to put it on your shoulder. All right, it was me. I didn't call you a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> Two-year-old. <laughs> Those disgusting people that Jackie knows. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got a good story. Yeah, I had a friend. I undercut the show by a year. <laughs> I always have a friend with you. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll get to the news. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, on MTV, they, I was watching that Tom Petty video, and they won't let him say... Let's roll another joint. You know that song goes, let's roll another joint. Right. Let's get to the point. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels. (laughs) You don't know how it feels when you can't say that. (laughs) Right. So you know what they say? Let's roll another note. They they, 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 some, they fudge in a word? Or, or yeah, they electronic. It's it's let's or, roll. Or do they play it back? I don't know, but it sounds like no. Background. Let's roll another note. I think I'm playing it backwards. You don't know how it feels. Hmm. Pot is as much a part of rock and roll as guitar strings. Yeah. Really? Thank you. Pot <laughs> is as much a part of rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> what the f does that mean? <laughs> 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 oh, you bastard. <laughs> and with that, I had to hit the button on myself. I said the F word. What is wrong with you? Hey. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? What are you sound like my mother. What's wrong with me? I don't know. What's wrong with you? Okay. What's wrong the with you? F word. You don't say that. There were millions of words you could use to express yourself, but you have to use the F word. You know, my mother, when I wrote my my first book, yes. now that I've announced my second book coming out in November. This is going to be a surprise to your mother, too. This yeah. Is a secret you uh, to, yeah. Uh, reveal, huh? Yes. And she saw a lot of profanity in it, and she said to me, you don't talk like that. <laughs> You, why do you feel you had to put profanity in there? You don't talk like that. You want to be a big man? Oh, dear. I said, Ma, I hate to tell you, but my language is very, very much peppered with very the F saucy. word. Very salty. <laughs> very saucy. <laughs> she goes, it is not, not around me. Well, you didn't write her a book. Yeah. I said, so do you want me to start cursing around you so you know? <laughs> They'll let down that guard. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be polite in front of you and my mother. But that you, I said, you could ask my friends. That's how I talk. You do not. You do not. <laughs> I said, why would I lie to you about that? Because you want to be a big shot. What, in front of you? Yes. I said, well, I don't know. I really don't need to be a big shot in front of you. I prefer to tell you I don't use foul language. I'd be much more proud of myself if I... Didn't. How does she figure that makes you a big shot? I don't know. You just want to seem like one of these men. Like what men? Yeah, like uh, a, a man. man. <laughs> like a man. I always thought you'd turn out different. You're my son. I wanted you to be like Clint Eastwood in Bridges of Madison County. Old and wrinkled? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Washed up. <laughs> Uh, and I'm like, well, what does that mean? He was so sensitive. And yeah. I always thought you 
were going to be sensitive like that. He was sleeping with a married woman in that movie. Well, I guess my mother wants me to be like that. <laughs> I molded you. I got you puppets when you were young so you would have a doll substitute. She and didn't now, know what you were doing with those puppets? She's <laughs> having sex with them. <laughs> and now you've turned out to be just like all these other men. <laughs> That's the lecture I got. And I'm like, well, thank you. She's disappointed now, yeah. I guess. I go, so it proves you were a lousy mother. <laughs> now, I put a lot of effort and thought into you. <laughs> I made you gentle. I tried to make you a faggot. Oof, she didn't say that. No, but that's Stop what she's it. implying. She could very, I could have easily tipped over that way. Nah. Oh, yeah. That's not something you tip to. Mm -hmm. You're pushing the envelope. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> you never even entertain that idea. So, no. obviously, mothers don't make I homosexuals. Did it. I did it just to get her back. <laughs> You were trained to be sensitive, and I didn't treat your sister any differently than you. Just because she's a girl and you're a boy, I raised you the same exact way. It's like, ugh. All I know is I turned out to be the closest thing to an ape, and she thinks she had some kind of master plan <laughs> to make me into a genius. She's a fine man. Yeah, make into a she was going to make me one of these men who's completely pussy-whipped. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether you'd call it that. She was going to make you into a different kind of guy. Because she's not happy with my father, even though she loves my father. She, she, you know, she he sees wasn't he's no pushover. All she right. Wanted. Right. He's he's he doesn't listen to her. He's not sensitive. Right. <laughs> he wants sex. Because my mother's into transcendental meditation to the point where she just does it all day and night. Uh -huh. And my father's not like that. She's like, your father doesn't meditate enough. <laughs> and my, my old man's like, you know, I only want to do it a certain amount of time, okay? Right. I enjoy it. I like it. But you know, I'm not going crazy here. <laughs> your father doesn't listen. <laughs> da, 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 da. And this is for you, mother dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised my old man didn't hatch her head off like OJ. I'd be visiting my father in prison That's for the last 15 know. years. He's like the stepfather, really, doesn't it? I couldn't take it. <laughs> really, man. Da, 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 <laughs> Where's my da 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 Baby, 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 baby. Stop that singing. Are you listening to me? Stop singing when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I told you not to be stupid, you moron. Yeah, so. Evidently, my mother gave me the word that I'm a disappointment to her that I didn't turn out. To, this big experiment she had going on, somehow I didn't. Yeah, you failed. Yeah, I'm like my father. I don't listen. You don't listen. You're trying to be a big man. And I'm with uh, Dominic, and you go to Atlantic City, and I see you like to gamble. What do you need with those girls? <laughs> and your girls and that scores. I didn't raise a thug. <laughs> Ma, with I like to got a mouth. I like to uh, I like to play cards. My father's listening to this, and finally, when he heard that she was yelling at me for even like playing cards, yes. Now that's where I got to disagree with you, Ray. <laughs> he spoke up. It's a big deal if he plays a little card. I got to disagree with you here. <laughs> he should be able to play cards. Well, that's not a bad thing. He's gainfully employed. <laughs> Raise a family. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad man thing. What's wrong with a few cards? <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with cards. <laughs> My old man. I don't see anything wrong with cards. He couldn't say anything about the other stuff. No. He spoke up about the car. If my husband went to scores, I'd lean. Oh. I'd lock the doors and yeah. change all the locks. And he says, she says it in front of my wife, so that's, that only helps me with my, my relationship with my wife. Gets her thinking. And my mother's a great woman. So I love seeing her. <laughs> and the poker, and the cursing, and the nude women, and the trashing of your parents. I didn't raise you for that. 
That's <laughs> not what you should be doing. That's all nonsense. That is Luggery. not how I raised you. Yeah. Yeah. What were you there? <laughs> Whatever. Someone wants to play a cards. Oh, this is not so bad. I, I'm not going to say anything. Well, you've just opened your yap. You are a married man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because you guys badgered me into it. My mother. You I should be married. You should be married. I should? Okay. <laughs> Stupid dope. <laughs> Listening to his mommy. <laughs> Could have been dating whores. Oh, you. <laughs> you. Sucking the pigs. <laughs> yeah. You. Wine soaked. Didn't. Act. Like the son I wanted. Fair. You don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. You don't <laughs> use that foul language. Why does that have to be? Me. And you should be mindful of what you watch yeah. on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, want to do some news? <laughs> Absolutely. You know how I like to keep up with what DJs are up to so that, you know, we can DJs. steal a few things. Yeah, we need to steal some material <laughs> from some DJs. <laughs> like Girl Cow. This is from the San Diego Union. Yeah. I guess this guy worked at a country station in San Diego called KSON. KSON. This started in early 1994. Blech. This gentleman was a part-time DJ at the station. His name was Robert Wright, but he went by the name Bob Kelly on the air. What station was this? KSON? K-S-O-N. In San Francisco. San Diego. Oh, San Diego. That's a pretty good market. Part-timer. A young girl, 15-year-old girl. Called up on the request line, looking uh -oh. to hear a song played. It's where you get into trouble with these 15-year-olds. <laughs> I would like to hear a song, please. And the 46-year-old Mr. Wright took the call. Uh-oh. Boing, wing, 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 wing. What followed was a year-long relationship in which the middle-aged man plied the teenager with dinners, <laughs> drugs, and money. <laughs> Eventually persuaded. How many guys her? do we know who are like that? <laughs> I know. I, I'm just thinking of every guy I've met in radio who's like that. Eventually persuading her to pose for pornographic pictures and videos. Hey oh. <laughs> uh, the 16 year old now says, I was a puppet. Oh, boy. <laughs> that guy's going away a long time. Well, he's going away for at least a year. Ah, oh, there you go. He was uh, sentenced to one year in county jail by the San Diego Municipal Court judge who told him, you're old enough to know right from wrong. You didn't do the right thing. <laughs> judge Ray Stern presiding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, he was probably, at least he didn't chop her up like Wait some dish jockeys would do. This. this is great because uh, what happened was the girl called up to hear this song and he started to just talk to her, I guess, and eventually <sighs> arranged to meet her. Hold on, I got to put a record on. Another ugly DJ. I'll tell you one thing, man. Being a DJ, you can get laid a lot. I know it. <sighs> he gave me things. She wrote in a letter to the court. He would take me out to eat. He gave me money and drugs. What drug did he use, Howard? Let me guess. What? No, not pot. I mean, I'm sure he gave her pot, but lewds. Crystal meth. <laughs> crystal meth? <laughs> girls, girls don't want to have sex on crystal meth. <laughs> well, she says he prodded her into eventually posing for pornographic pictures and videos <laughs> under the influence of crystal meth. She woke up the next morning not believing what she had done. She felt ashamed, dirty, and whorish. Good girl. Other sessions sounds followed. Like, sounds like it was worth a year in jail. <laughs> with Wright <laughs> holding out promises of big money, such as $2,500 for each shooting, if it resulted in something commercially successful. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of commercially <laughs> successful ventures with naked uh, beaver shots. <laughs> I mean, come on. The whole thing blew up when the mother found some of these <laughs> naked pictures. Darling, uh, Procter & Gamble just called. They're interested in the naked shots. Looks like we're going to be making lots of money. And you, know, and you don't give the pictures of the girl. <laughs> oh. 
That's disc jockeys. You know yeah. what it is? They, they, they get always so, get carried away. They get so damn much, and then all of a sudden, it's that 16-year-old they got to have. <laughs> Got to have. They got to go beyond, you know. They've done it with 20-year-olds yep. and 18-year-olds, and they got to keep pushing the edge of that envelope. And this guy was a part-timer. Yeah. Can you imagine if he had a full-time slot? Well, you know, uh, he says this has ruined his life as a part-time DJ and a car salesman. Oh. <laughs> you mean, there's, you know, there's two professions that they usually just don't care what you do or what your past was. You could be a heroin dealer and be on the air. <laughs> Car salesman and dish jockey. Yeah. Two professions that you basically get a job. You pick up a job anywhere. <laughs> DJs. Destination jail. That's what it stands for. DJ. <laughs> he says it just got out of hand. He was not acting properly. It was like watching a bizarre movie. Only he was in it. He was starring in it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't stop himself. I like that. So there you have it. I don't think you did the right thing. You Another lost one of those. your dignity over this. <laughs> Another one of those great DJ stories. Yep. What's the guy's name? <laughs> he was uh, Bob Kelly on the air, Robert Wright at the used car dealership. <laughs> Bobby Kelly with you. Go over and see Robert Wright at the car dealership. Uh, he says that uh, he's going to be available to sell you some cars this weekend. Hey, got a couple of good tunes coming up for you. Five in a row right after these words. <laughs> Hello? I'd like a request. I bet you would, honey. How about some methamphetamine? <laughs> you like for you. You like that stuff? <laughs> I'd love to interview him. Hi, Howard. How are you? Yeah, I uh, guess I did make a mistake. <laughs> if I waited two years, no uh, trouble. Hey, it wasn't like she didn't want it. Hey, it wasn't rapey. That's for sure. Mr. Wright wrote in a statement, she got her photos, and I got ruined for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when you're with 16-year-olds, you deserve to be ruined for life. <laughs> he still doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. I gave her the pictures. Coming up for you, a little methamphetamine. And I'm going to throw in a copy of Frampton's Live with that. Uh, I'll be this a good guy girl. was playing country music. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Got a little Dwight Yoakam for you. <laughs> I want to meet the 16-year-old that listens to country. I know. Hmm. We're going to sweep the quarter hour with a little methamphetamine. <laughs> We're going to take a little break that now. country's getting wacky. Yeah, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. In Eatontown, authorities yesterday are investigating a late-night melee in which at least two men were stabbed and two police officers shot following the screening of the rap music documentary The Show at a popular movie theater. Because I saw Russell Simmons on. Mm -hmm. He's the producer or something. And he was like, yo, I think that, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I mean? You, you know, know what I mean? Saying? You know what I'm saying? I think that everyone should go see this movie. You know, he's doing promotion. He goes, because the ones that have to see this movie are not necessarily going to see this movie. You know what I'm saying? The, <laughs> the, 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 the people who see this movie are going to be people who already tune in to hip hop. <laughs> but, you know, there are a lot of people who need to learn, you know what I'm saying, about, you know what I'm saying? You know what, you know what I'm saying? About hip hop. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? How are they going to see the movie? Say what? <laughs> How are they going to see the movie? I don't know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. In a, in a, in a locked room. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm telling you, it was frightening. There were only five people in the theater. So you went and saw this thing. <laughs> and was it like a lot of rap stars screaming about the white man? It's... No, it's rap artists about to go on stage no. and on stage, you know, and you just sort of follow them and watch them. And there's one guy who's particularly scary. You know what I'm saying? Who sits there and he says, basically, I can't just say it the way he said it. Right, because it's dirty. But not only that, I can't do that black thing. Oh, no, I'm saying, do like this, do like this, do like this. <laughs> That's it, say, so do like this. You know, a lot of yeah. hand moving. He's got a, yeah. yo, a rag yo. tied around his head. Do like this, and, do like uh, this. All this stuff, and he just looks right into the camera, and he said, if I wasn't doing this for a living right now and making this kind of money, I'd be up in your house. I saw that clip. Tying up your kids. I saw that. And robbing you. I saw that. Because <laughs> they had it on HBO. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I would kill you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like, it was a, it was Good. a kind of nasty crime he was describing. I say lock that guy up in jail. <laughs> That's right, because he's got criminal thoughts. Yeah.
Oh. But it was a very uh, raw look. See, I don't want to see that unless they're screaming about the white man. At uh, Well, you could go see it. They got Slick Rick in there who Notorious was in jail. Big. Yeah. And uh, Russell Simmons even says as he's on his way to see Slick Rick. He's still producing his records. Right. So. And he says, you know, I'm sick of these rap artists who get themselves locked up. The only reason I'm going to see this guy, he wrote, he's written me and called me four times, and I've managed to be away every time he's called. But for this movie, I'll go see Yo, 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 <laughs> man, I'm in the house, the big house, man. Don't turn your back on me, man. That's right, you can't have no, re no hit record unless know you got saying? a rap sheet. You know what I'm know. saying, man? Well, you find out what's up with that. <laughs> you know, jail has made me more humble. <laughs> J-O. You know what and I'm saying? Less materialistic. <laughs> Is that what he said? Who said that? Slick Rick? Slick Rick. Yeah, I, I do not look for the material comforts that I used to, my man. <laughs> Slick Rick. Oh, man, and everybody is, is high as a kite. Right. You know, and Snoop Doggy Dog and the Dog Pound is in it. <laughs> Very strange. Yeah. But I just thought it was interesting that two black women were sitting around discussing going to this film bitches. and saying, we've got to go early. You ain't two black women, you two bitches. <laughs> two hoes. Two hoes. Discussing. Two hoes discussing yeah, things. Yeah, as, discussing as Russell things. Simmons would say, we are super bitches. Super bitches. <laughs> in everything. You know what I'm saying? In everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I don't in mean everything. bitch in a bad way. I heard that guy Fresh Prince of Bel-Air saying, know what I'm saying. He oh, was on dear. MTV. He was like, know what I'm saying, man. Now, he doesn't say, He's know what I'm saying. People. Yeah, right. He goes, yeah. know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. Him and that Bill Bellamy on MTV screaming at each other the whole time. Know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. These are two black guys pretending to be Black guys, guys, yeah. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly they were blackified. Yeah, I'm more yeah, black right. than them. You see these guys in this video, uh, in right. this movie, <laughs> you'll know the difference. Right. Fresh Prince is a white man. <laughs> That's up. a white man. That's not a black man. That's what uh, some people would say. Know what I'm saying? Straight up. Know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. And everything. Bill Bellamy's whiter than me. And everything. Yeah. And these guys make absolutely no sense at all. And you know what I'm saying <laughs> is saying. what they say after every <laughs> nonsensical thing. Because nobody knows what they're saying. Nobody, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Know what I'm saying? No. no. And every, when you say you know what I'm saying, that's so, sort of like, like kind of makes you sound like you're profound. Because if you don't know what I'm saying, then you don't, you know, you're stupid. Or I'm confused too. Do you? Know what I'm <laughs> That's a way to interpret it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I don't. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's how I always think of mm. it. Maybe I saw, he doesn't know either. I got real bummed out when I saw the Fresh Prince of Bel Air on MTV going, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Light bright and almost white. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Light bright and almost white. Just explain to me one thing. Why is it that when uh, when Joe Frazier would say he'd also go, he's... What? He would also make that statement. You know, he was... Yeah. You know what that means. What is that? Swishy. No, I don't think so. But he, he used that a lot. I don't know what and Joe was saying. I don't know saying. what that was. He's a light bright and old white. You know, he's... <laughs> we gotta go. You know what? Let's pull that tape for tomorrow because I'm not sure. You're yeah, trying to forget because I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Because I went to the guys in the office and I said, "How was Joe after we did that interview?" And they said, "Oh, he was great." I said, "Did you know what he was saying?" He said, "And Gorilla said, not really, <laughs> <laughs> but he was great." <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so they, every time you said, every time you said, "I know what you're talking about," I knew that was your way of saying you had no idea. Right, right. I know what you mean, my man. I know what, you mean, yeah. I know what you're saying. You, you speak the truth. Uh. <laughs> Guy says to me, "Absolutely, you're absolutely right." Absolutely right, my man. You can say that what? again because I wouldn't understand it then. Either. But I gotta tell you, when I went to see this movie, the show, there were ten people sitting in the audience, and people started to get angry. Oh, yeah. While they're sitting there watching the movie, oh, yes. there was a guy a who was literally cursing out the film by the and time. What was he angry about? Because the white I man or know. something? All of a sudden, I just, you know, he got louder and louder and louder. <laughs> he been drunk. the film went on. And by the time I could actually hear him... He was just cursing, <laughs> and I didn't know what had set him off. Probably, like, Look punched out. out the Will Rogers collection guy. <laughs> Get that thing away from me, man. Come here, that movie. Don't have me for no money. You God damn, damn you. Got me out. <laughs> Take your money. You know what I'm saying? Come here, ask me for no goddamn Will Rogers. Come here, man. I kick your ass. Will Rogers, a white man, you know asking, what I, asking me for money. You know what I say, man? No one told a damn can for me. <laughs> and even 
in the What's film. What's up with that? What's up? What's up with that? Yo. What's up? And even in the film, some of the old rappers <laughs> straight up even point out that the guys who rap today can't tour anymore, right? Because they they become so violent in their lyrics, and the audiences get so incensed <laughs> and become so violent that nobody can go out on tour. They yeah. make records, they can sell two, three Look million out. records, but have never performed in front of anybody because <laughs> people start killing each other. <laughs> so anyway, they they're going to be. Uh, in this movie, and as I said, some violence erupted after Friday night showing over in Jersey. Uh, they say that two Asbury Park men were stabbed when several fights broke out in the parking lot of the uh, Sony Monmouth Mall Theater on Route 35. Hey, listen, this doesn't only go on in the black community. Let me make this point that uh, in the white community this weekend, there were several stabbings of uh, owners of the new Windows 95 program <laughs> after their, their computers <laughs> erased everything. Oh, angry. <laughs> angry. What's up with this? You know What's what I'm saying? Our computer crashing everything. <laughs>《Good for Us》They say that the mergers will probably mean in the future higher fees for banking. No. Yes. Horrible. So it always works out bad for us. White people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's big old powerful devil, white people the devil, devil don't merging realize. and merging and doing this and, and that. And it don't do any damn good for black people. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying about that? Ten billion dollar. I don't care, man. Say what? The, the white get whiter. <laughs> and the black get poorer. The black really, get blacker man. and poorer. <laughs> <laughs> These bank what's, mergers what's haven't helped nobody. That? Really, man. What's, what's, up? what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Ten billion dollars. The chase gonna merge with the chemical? Merger? I was in jail for merger. The second degree merger. <laughs> <laughs> nobody gave me a newspaper. Nobody, nobody gave me nothing. Celebrated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I merged. Yo, 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 go deep and take this TV with you. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. All right. <laughs> there he goes, Jackie. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. <laughs> I can't find the thing. All right, very good. <laughs> what have you done over there? I feel like, I felt like hearing smoke and weed and I drinking. know that, but you can't find anything. It doesn't matter. President Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll take the money from the case. <laughs> all right. And, uh, Give me all the game money. Yeah, I'll take game money. <laughs> Yeah, where's sequel's death? Yeah. <laughs> Homo dollars. Fag books. Where's the fag box? Hey, where's that wallet? Hey, my new name is. Hey, would you blow me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my me for president. Welcome. Welcome to my gay world. <laughs> On me, not in me. Yeah. <laughs> president Jackie. <laughs> and my first lady. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Wash off the fag bucks and put it in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't let me touch the fag bucks directly. <laughs> All right, what else is in the news? Yes, I'm sorry I reminded you. <laughs> I just love doing that voice. <laughs> O.J. Simpson. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> to 
200 million Americans in this country, and, and we got a Chinese up there who can't speak English. <laughs> Let me try to think of another question. That's the one guy they found who was willing to say OJ didn't do it. Who beat I up had rabbit. It in my head before me, you me, well, blah, 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 blah. The year of the rabbit. The I don't even rabbit. know if he's saying rabbit. I said, is he saying rabid human? Or Let me tell you something. What's the difference with the question? Is Let's hear the answer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come I know on. I can think of it. Me, rabbit. <laughs> oh, about oh rabbit. I know what it was. Uh, they asked him why, since this is, you know, so important, he didn't go to look at the blood stains on the Bronco. I only can work on my spare time okay. on weekends. I cannot come here. I have a official duty. Duty. Also, duty. the world cannot stop I just because of this case. The world cannot stop. I read that for you, Cookie. The world cannot stop <laughs> if case go on. I make a duty. A lot of duty. A lot of duty. I have a lot of duty during the week. Only to have time on weekend. <laughs> no duty. No duty no today. No duty during the week. No duty during the week. <laughs> TP full of duty. <laughs> we chop off rabbit foot. <laughs> Maybe with chopstick. You, know, you got Rocky. You got me here. Weekday, I'm not available. Me have duty. Uh, <laughs> so, no duty on weekend, though. Who knows if the prosecution no shook his no testimony? <laughs> who knows what that was? <laughs> no duty. We got duty. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Judge E.O., I got the duty. You have duty to duties to attend to? Yeah. I have to go make duty. Do you have to talk like a waiter? <laughs> You're an embarrassment to our people. Must pass a beef and broccoli. <laughs> May have beef and broccoli. Have much duty. Little ear of corn. So what you get at your restaurant? No, General, General Gao? Chow, isn't it? Uh, General Gao chicken. <laughs> Seven stars around moon. Seven star around moon chicken. <laughs> Delights of three sizzling platter. Sure. Sure. And bulk. I've never heard it called General Gao. General Chow. <laughs> With brown sauce. General Chow must have a brown sauce. <laughs> General Chow chicken. <laughs> chicken, chicken. <coughs> you make General Brown sauce. Bird and Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Seven star chicken. Coke. Coca-Cola? Coke. Do you want Coca-Cola? Clean tea. Tea free. Clean yeah. tea. You'll wash the table with tea. <laughs> you want I clean? I clean up. I got my move. I have no time. May I, may I duty? I only can work on my spare time. Okay. On weekends. I cannot yeah, yeah. come here. I have a official duty. A duty. So the world cannot stop. The just word. because of this case. The word cannot stop just because... Well, the world has stopped because of this case, okay? <laughs> you finish with that? You want to get paid? <laughs> yeah, you, you better make the world stop. <laughs> just say OJ's innocent. OJ innocent. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Check, please. World cannot stop. Mr. Johnny say, world cannot stop. <laughs> <laughs> the duty. <laughs> Me, much brave and bracket, and General Chow Chicken. <laughs> Lake Tong Ting Shrimp. <laughs> Lake Tong Ting Shrimp. Prawn. Prawn, yeah, what's that? Prawn. The shrimp. Rangostino. You, you want General Chow Prawn? <laughs> Hot and sour soup. <laughs> <laughs> egg drop. Egg drop, you know what that looks like. Oh. What is a wonton? That's what I want to know. I don't know. <laughs> Who flung poo? Wow. <laughs> anyway, you were saying I didn't mean to yes. get sidetracked. So anyway, <laughs> today they will also uh, start to present arguments <laughs> to Judge Ito to determine I'm if tired of and what Mark Furman tapes will be admissible before the jury. I don't want to argue. We All this will talk hear of food and duty. And 
those tapes today in the courtroom, so it sounds like an exciting day. We'll get to hear Mark Furman use the N-word. Carl Douglas, right. the one of the tapes. defense attorneys, says that uh, they found so many references at this point, it's a matter of picking and choosing. You know what I'm saying? We continue to find more references, and we decide whether or not we want to include them as well. Um, we're up to 42. But after a point, it gets to be repetitive, and so we're trying to decide which repetitive. That's bad, selected right? entries are most important. Oh, dear. 42. <laughs> Mr. Johnny, we got 42 nigger references. Let's push that figure uh, uh, over the top. Wow. <laughs> 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 So we'll be arguing and listening to tapes in court today. Super. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. 42 big laughs on that tape for Jackie. 42 nigger references. Hey, nigger. There he goes again. Hey, they can say it in court. Wow, he was cone too. Is there an end? Jeez. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> This is great. Shut up, lady. That's funny. <laughs> Why did they play my tapes? I got lots of nigger references. Right, Mine are better than the Furman tapes. <laughs> <laughs> what an amateur. I got your money. <laughs> All right. What else is in the news, Rob? <laughs> Obviously, one excited Jackie puppet looking right, forward to yes. the He'll be riveted. He'll be right there at the... Uh... <laughs> Television this afternoon, unable to turn yeah. himself away. Yeah, nigger references. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Nancy, come see. <laughs> Forty-three on my CD. Everybody, hurry up. Nancy, the jig is up. Come on. Are you taping? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I could use some of this material. Oh. Hey, a lot of nigger references. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> a bomb threat forced uh, three major New York metropolitan airports to shut down yesterday. The Air Traffic Control Center on Long Island was evacuated after someone at the center received the threat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, air traffic controllers on duty were told to take duty. care of whatever traffic they duty. were handling. Everyone's on duty. <laughs> on duty. At the time, and the dim then get out of the building. <laughs> of course. Duty. That duty is so funny. <laughs> Two duty references in the newscast. Uh, outgoing flights went nowhere for a while. Resulted in delays around the country. And no bomb was found. It's third grade in here today. <laughs> I decided we're at a third grade level. Is that where you're uh, <laughs> you reading us no today? No. Duty and nigger references. I have a bone to pick. Why is our legislature working? Good, it's about? in my pants. Yeah. 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 Yeah, hold on, I gotta pass some wind. Hold on. Oh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what do you want to know about radio? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there. You don't know. You don't know anything. You're a whippy post. You mad at me. You make fun of me. It's over, Johnny. You make fun it's of me. Never over. Nothing is over. <laughs> Nothing is over. You just don't turn it off. It wasn't my war. You asked me, I didn't ask you. Hope I have a scene like this in my movie. I had to do to win. But somebody wouldn't let us win. <laughs> Yo, Can I just, come back to the world? She just throw Can it I in. Can all those maggots at the airport? Max is at Protesting the airport. Protesting me, <laughs> spitting, calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap. Who are they to protest me, huh? <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> Unless they've been me and been there and know what the hell they're yelling about. It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the past now. For you. For me, civilian life is nothing. In the field, we had a code of honor. You watch my back, I watch yours. Back here, there's nothing. You're the last of an elite group. Don't end it like this. Back there, I could fly a gunship. Mm -hmm. I could drive a tank. I was in charge of million-dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold a job. Fucking guard! Richard Crenn is a pretty good actor. He must be sitting there doing this scene with Stallone going, oh, my God. That's why he's sort of walking there. He's just... 
Look, you're the last of an elite group. <laughs> you're the last of it. He always just wants to get the hell off the set. Line. Line, please. <laughs> Line. I forgot my place. <laughs> the guy's having a nervous breakdown. He goes, it was a bad time for all of us. It was a bad time for all of us, Rambo. Don't end it like this. Yeah. Don't end it like all this. right. Do I get paid now? <laughs> Two uh, candidates are right for that category. Yeah, it's a max man right here once what again. Is he it talking, is about? talking about the Allman Brothers deserve a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Why is this difficult for you? What did he just say? I don't know in the context. <laughs> she keeps interrupting. Right? Keep interrupting. Stay middle of the week. And uh, we'll move the music for you right until Howard Stern. Laugh out loud time with Howard at 6 o'clock this morning. And I know some people uh, commented. Uh, Max tapping into the computer age. LOL. Laugh out loud is something that people write on the chat line. So I understand where he's coming from. He's tapping into counterculture and the underground culture. That's what they say. Laugh now out loud. You're reaching. No, no. I'm a big fan of Max. I told you that. You're the one. Who will come after. <laughs> You're the one. Why does he laugh when he says that? Well, any moron or idiot who uh, listens to Howard uh, can uh, detect why. I mean, he's just laugh out loud funny, that's all. And you'll find it out, too. No, I'm sure you have already, so why am I being redundant? It's 12 past the hour, 5 o'clock for Allison Steele, the night bird. I like Max this. Max will return after these Thank words. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Nothing but compliment. He's talking to me on the radio. In yeah. the nothing, but, <laughs> nothing but complimentary. Nothing. Nothing Call wrong me with a that. Moron. Yeah, the shoe fits. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Max is trying to say something, a secret code. I've been you're an imbecile. I believe Max still works for the military and is sending us secret messages. <laughs> what do you think of that? I wouldn't doubt it. Well, all I know is Max is mad now at everybody because of you. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> he's not talking to any He of was them. yelling at Gorilla on the air today. Tell me that listen. you're not happy he didn't say hello this morning. Listen. <laughs> 923 K Rock, the only classic rock station in New York City and down on Main Street. This is Max Mad with you. Just about uh, ten and a half minutes before six, and Howard Stern will be here. Ah, oh, Gorilla's in the studio. Hey, Gorilla, how you doing? How come you were dissing me yesterday at Stern Show? Mm, sure you did. Oh, I see. Well, listen, we got yeah. some good stuff coming Everyone's up. Everyone's a big man when they go face to face with Max. Yeah, all of a sudden, Gorilla didn't have anything to say. How come you're dissing me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, not me, man. <laughs> hey, dude. This is our war. This is the people that we fought for. These are people who love us, who care about us. Are you dissing me? I come back, you call me baby girl and all the time, crap. Gorilla. You're a big man when you're over there with Robin in the studio. Now you face me, do you have anything to say? Do you have anything, you baby killer? <laughs> oh, so talented. <laughs> wow. Baby killer? Hey, oh, keep it right like where you got it. 92.3 K-Rock. <laughs> hmm. You didn't have one where he just says... Laugh out loud time. smarter than the average bit. I like Max, and Max, uh, great to have you here at the radio station family. And I enjoy the show, and Robin's obviously got a mental block I against you. Well, I'm listening, aren't I? Yeah. Hanging on every word. <laughs> Can't wait for the music to stop to see what Max will say next. At least Max has something to say. I'd like not like these other DJs. Oh, I can't wait to see him with you tomorrow. <laughs> he didn't come visit me today. I'm shocked. I'm hurt. I think he got the hint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's uh, time to take a breaky poo. <laughs> we'll be back. Right after these words. Right after these words. Don't go away. Some guy who's in our audience stands outside the OJ trial every day. And you know that attorney, Carl Douglas, who sits next to Johnny Cochran? Do you know pin that guy? Face. What? He, he looks like he has a pin face. Yeah, it looks like somebody, like, like he had like a real bad acne condition or something. Mm -hmm. Pizza face, it's called. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Zit face. How could you say that about me? Well, he's got a skin condition. Pinhead from Hellraiser movies. Yeah, he looks like Pinhead. So some listener goes and interviews him every day with his video camera, and drives him nuts. Because he says, how can you defend a murderer? How do you sleep at night? And Carl Douglas goes ballistic on him. Want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Because <laughs> no report. I, I believe this guy's the only true reporter. 
I would love to ask Johnny People Cochran. People write this kind of thing, though. You can uh, huh. look at Andrea Pizer's column today, and mm. she says this kind of stuff, but nobody will actually say it to the lawyers. No. They write it when they're not there. Well, this guy did, and Carl Douglas was completely out of his mind. Listen to this. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right, that's Carl that's Douglas. That's Carl Douglas? Yeah, he's just talking to different reporters and stuff, and then this guy comes with his camera, and he's following him, and he's just like, have a good day, have a good day, because... Carl Douglas is just walking through his car, and he's, like, getting tired of this guy keeping the video camera on him. Oh, okay. How do you go home and sleep at night knowing you know that he really did it? Who are you? My name's George. Get a life, George. I got a life. Here Thank I am. You. Well, leave me alone, okay? I'm minding my own business, okay? And so am I. I'm not taking your picture. I don't want your picture. Seriously. Picture. How do you, how do you sleep at night knowing that he really did it? Can you know, Cocker knows he did it. Were you, know, you, there? Were you there? It wasn't there, but well, I mean, DNA you know? don't lie. Oh, really? Huh? DNA don't You're lie. You're a scientist? <laughs> Not a scientist. I'm just a... Uh, DNA don't lie. DNA You're don't a lie. scientist? What are you, a, a scientist? <laughs> I don't want your picture. I don't want your picture. Yeah, he goes, I'm not taking your picture. <laughs> Get a light, You have to be George. a brain surgeon to figure it out, Al. Well, so why you want to talk to me? Why not? Who am I going to talk to? Talk to somebody else. Talk to the DA. Talk to the DA. So he says, how do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? And the guy's like, how dare you ask me that question, how I sleep? I sleep fine at night. How dare you? So he then, doesn't say he sleeps fine, though. No. So then the next day, he goes and follows him again. I just want you to answer the questions. <laughs> What do you think is more of a challenge for Johnny Cochran, defending a child molester that can sing or dance and dance, or a murderer that can catch and run? My friend, fortunately, we've been America, so we're, we're even people like you can express their opinions, and I, That's and why I I'm here. That. I can disagree. Opinion of the common man. I can ask you to get out of my face, but you have your <laughs> right to say whatever you want to say. Thank and you. And you see, I don't want to take your picture. Are you Johnny Cochran's valet? <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Why are you here Unemployed. Why are you watching me? Do you have a life? <laughs> <laughs> they laugh at him. I like when he goes, what do you do for a living? And he goes, I'm unemployed. And he goes, do you have a life? And he just goes, <laughs> obviously not. I'm here, to just, I'm here to interview you. How funny is that? <laughs> so then the guy just stays out there the next day. And, what else is he going to do? Yeah, and he follows him to his car and he's interviewing him. This is actually working for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're trying to put up, and they keep trying to shut us up. And that's the real... All right, so, so this guy... What's his name again? Johnny, I mean, Carl Douglas. Carl Douglas is doing an interview with the press, and there's our friend with the little video camera again. Question. How can they be so interested in a search for truth, yet not want to hear theories that are cogent and that are relevant, but may be inconsistent with their theory of guilt? Are you going to put the Brentwood Butcher on the stand? Are you going to put the Brentwood Butcher on the stand? Huh? You're going to put the Butcher on the stand? Will the Heisman you're here, Hacker you're ever here testify? Again? You're here again talking to me? Will the Heisman Hacker ever testify? <laughs> Aren't you on vacation? <laughs> How do you feel knowing that most Americans feel you're the lowest form of scum ever to walk the planet? Huh? More people should be saying this. <laughs> huh? Are you going to have O.J. over for th at Thanksgiving to carve your turkey? Are you going to have O.J. over at Thanksgiving to carve your turkey? Are you always this big of a jerk or do you try hard? It comes natural? I don't defend murderers. I understand. What do, you, what do you do for a living? Do you work? Many of business. Oh, okay. Okay, well, then fine. You don't get out of my face, okay? Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you on vacation? Looks like you're running. Oh, well, it looks that way. What are you doing? You're none, taking my picture. None of your business. Okay. You're not going to hack me with that hanger, are you? What's your name? <laughs> don't be afraid. So he's getting into his car and he's hanging his coat up on a hanger, which I thought was kind of weird. Yeah, that was an interesting... Because he did that several times on the tape. The guy was always following him to the car. And even though Carl Douglas is being chased by a guy with a camera, he stops to hang up his coat. Well, Carl, I think, was not going to be intimidated. He was going to, hey, man, I'm going to hang up my coat. I'm not going to run away from you, which was pretty cool. Oh, and then uh, Carl... But Carl has this weird move. He takes his coat off and... Put, hangs it on a hanger. Yeah, he has a hanger in the car. Yeah. <laughs> ready and waiting. <laughs> he doesn't want to crease himself up. All right. Business. Okay. You're not going to hack me with that hanger, are you? What's your name? <laughs> don't be afraid. I don't know. You've been hanging out with OJ. You may uh, be a little bit, uh, 
You know, violent now. Talk to them. Okay? Talk to them. Talk to your friends. So now Carl Douglas is getting in his car, and this guy is standing right there. Carl Douglas issues a warning. Don't get in the way of my car. You will run me over and kill me. You have been hanging out with OJ. Oh. <laughs> the guy got the message. <laughs> <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Really, man. Then this guy's standing out in front yelling stuff at Johnny Cochran. Will you will you be letting the butcher back on the stand? Will you the get the Heisman hacker? Yeah, the Heisman hacker on the stand. And then Johnny Cochran uh, calls a cop over and says, uh, "Can you have that gentleman?" Uh, and, and then they issue him some sort of citation or something. What did they do? They uh, report. A report. They wrote up was, a report. Uh, written on him yeah. or something. Johnny Cochran doesn't like. If you get the wrong questions, Johnny wants the cops to uh, write you up. Yeah. Well, the tough question he asked Johnny was, you know, who takes Holy. a better punch, Nicole Simpson or your your ex wife? Yeah, that was pretty funny. Ooh. <laughs> and he like he just says, uh, "Could you could you have the, something written up on this gentleman?" <laughs> The FBI. <laughs> You're not allowed to ask Johnny Cochran about beating his wife. Excuse me, come over here. Now, it's interesting that Johnny is spending all of his time trying to make the cops look so bad. Yeah. But the mm -hmm. moment he has a problem, mm -hmm. what does he do? Called over a cop. Hey, those cops are bad, Johnny. What are you calling them for? Yeah. yeah. Need their help? Mm -mm. Weird stuff. Weird, funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. And by the way, uh, Mrs. Schott is here. She will be commenting on the Mark Furman tapes, right, Mrs. Schott? Yes, I will. Good morning. All right. And Mrs. Schott, uh, who owns, what do you own again? The Cincinnati Reds baseball team. Right. How did you forget you know, that? I'm the owner. Let me, let me, I've been talking to you off the air about this, and let me share it with yes. my audience, and we'll get to you in a few minutes. But Does she have her dog with her? I don't yes. I get my dog. It's a, he's in the other room. That Baba Booey took care of him for me. Yeah, and, and she will bring the dog in in a few minutes. <laughs> but uh, the dog is very funny, by the way. <laughs> well, you know, the dog, the, everybody has to greet the dog when she yes. comes around. Yes, the dog bit the janitor here, by the way. No. Oh, yeah, black gentleman. Oh, dear. Anyway. I'll train my dog. <laughs> yeah. He protects me. Mr. Schott, uh, just quickly, because yes. I know you're uh, going to get a cup of coffee, but... You were accused of being a racist, and you felt wrongly accused. And I'm not a racist. That's the funny part. Right. Didn't they send you to some kind of a school? Sensitivity school? Sensitivity counseling? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did they because work? Because of my feelings about Nick, I mean, the, the black people. <laughs> right. See, I'm not a racist. I'm really not. So this is unfair. <laughs> so you were accused of using words like nigger and kike and things like that. Like Mark Furman is being accused. What do you, just quickly, and we'll get to this. What do you make of all that? We'll get, what, what do you think of it? We have to give this man a chance. Right. <laughs> to do what? I don't think he's a racist. I really don't. In my heart of hearts, Robin. Yes. I don't think he's a racist. What? Right. And when I that? had my troubles with the the uh, the, the coloreds. <laughs> right. I I hired black people and I had them as my ball players. All right. Let me right. ask you a few and, questions. And he said a few things that I think are maybe truthful to a degree. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. Mark Furman says. If you put a bruise on a nigger, it's pretty tough to see. Now, don't, doesn't that sound like a racist? Well, look at both sides of it. I mean, I've what had, are I've the had two sides? ball players that have been whacked with, you know, injuries on the field, and, yes. and you can't see it. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I don't see black and blue. I see black. Right. So you're saying that so, when you when you hire ball players, sometimes they do uh, get hit by a ball and you don't yeah. see the bruises. You yeah, know that to be true. You can't see the bruises. Yes, I do, Robin. <laughs> now, it says here that um, he, he says we have females and dumb niggers and all the Mexicans who can't even write. Now, what do you make of something By the like way, to that other thing you just said, who cares if they get bruised? Right. <laughs> I see. Okay. Was that just an aside? I don't think you passed that since the Stab wounds are hard to see, too. Now, now uh, Mrs. Uh, Schott, what is this? I used to go to work and practice my martial arts on the niggers. They're easy to practice on with uh, kicking. They're easy who said that? Mrs. Schott? No, Mark Furman. Oh. Now, now, now <laughs> those niggers, I mean, coloreds were lucky. Right. Because I pay my niggers to practice on. Taekwondo? Yes. Yes, I have right. a lot okay, of money look. and I practice on... So you're saying on... Mark Furman is not necessarily a racist. No, see, it's... It's, a it's how you look at it. Semantics. Right. Okay. Well, listen, let's, we'll yes, get back to you. Yes, he's an honorable detective. We These will... things must be taken out of context. He's a very good-looking man, too. 
Russia. Good looking man. Well spoken, very eloquent. All right, okay. Well, in his accounts of his encounters with the, them. Uh huh. I guess you were upset because you were uh, railroaded and accused of being a racist, and you never really got anyone to defend uh, you, and I guess you're stepping forward and defending him. I think the whiter you are, those things happen. He's very white. Oh, right. He's very nice. <laughs> yes. And this is how they target him. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's There's a bizarre phenomenon in this United States of pretending that the aggressive criminal murderers like that L.J. Simpson um, are... Or okay, but for the next. All right, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you do me a well favor? Well-groomed, do me detective, a, do me a favor. Law enforcement. Why don't you go have your coffee and bring yes. your dog? Oh. Bring your dog back in in a few minutes, because I have. Can I have cigarettes? In yes, here? I have something else. I, I have smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I have something else to talk about. You're okay. So dainty. All right. Do the scene with me. Come here. I want to try it. <laughs> I'm an actor. I want to practice my acting. You said you are an actor. You just said before you. I want to be an actor like you. Come here. You like to learn something. Come here. Teach me how to do it. I'll give you private tutoring. All right. Come here and teach me how to do it. (laughs) Come on. Show me how to do it. You're an actress. Uh, Won't act with me, huh? The Olivier of radio. (laughs) (laughs) I'll tell you someone who I bet you Patrick would do the scene. He's an actor. He wants to. He wants to be seen by people. He wouldn't do the scene. Would you? Sure. Here? Yeah. No. Would you do it with Robin? Sure. No. Do it with Robin. <laughs> yeah, do it with Robin. No, see, I won't even do that. Come on, Robin. <laughs> Robin, Come you've on. been Robin, you're dying to do this scene. No, big, I'm not. Come on, Allison. Why won't talk. you do it with me? What's the big deal? Because it's it's not appropriate. Why? Oh, it's a it's scene. It's not appropriate. It's acting. Let's try it. I'll do it with you. <laughs> you know what? Come on, let's do Allison it. Allison has now become be, what? those she, women who come in here and say, I can't take my clothes off in here. Oh, yeah, I do it everywhere else, but I can do it. <laughs> I would like to act with you. So she is an actress. So come down to Tony and Gina's wedding. I'm no. sure they'd put you in for one no. night. No. And we'll I, do it together. All right, I'll do it. You Ooh. can understudy Dominic for one night. I will do that. Who do you off? <laughs> I'll do that. That come one, Howard, and then we'll do the same. <laughs> that would be a blockbuster Why is night. it different doing it with me than doing it with Patrick? It's not different. If you were sitting in this chair, it would be the same thing. It's just that it's... it's. What do it's I have acting. to do? What is your What is your character in the in the play? What's his name? Uh, his name's Dominic Fabrizi. Dominic Fabrizi. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, basically yeah, yeah. a typical Italian guy. All right. And he see, the Gabon sees the, the nun. Well, he has a history with the nun. Right. He, he actually... Um, he always loved the nun. Yeah, he was he was the nun's only sexual. This experience. guy is a Calvin Klein model, this, for God's sake! This, yeah, oh, he's, he tell needs me she's to not on, she's not on the there. side of a bus. Have you everywhere. ever done any print work? <laughs> no, you haven't. No, no. Surprised? No. It's too short. Oh, <laughs> shut up, Fred! <laughs> I have to stand him on a box for Christ's sake. <laughs> Well, he's standing on a box kissing your wife. Yeah. I bet you get laid plenty. Yeah, I'm tall enough to kiss her. We fit actually yeah, you're nice also together. Tall to get a punch in the face. Good. Is your crotch even I'm with that. her crotch? Hey, I'm standing hey, I'm here, man. I'm just standing here, man. You're gonna yeah, call your buddy AJ yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Down and bust me up. yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I need help with you. How are you yeah. enjoying this? Is your crotch you? is your crotch level with her crotch so you can really grind in there? Yeah, pretty much so. Good for you. But we don't, so it doesn't matter. You don't body. grind. We saw the scene. Nice tight body on Allison, I'll tell you that. There you go. You should pick no yourself up to she, become an actress. Nice belly. He's nice and flat now, huh? Mm. Nice and hard. Come here and do the scene with me. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. <laughs> so, okay, I'm Dominic. I'm the Gavon. Yeah. Come on, let's say none. Let's go at it. Ah. Come on. Ah. What am I, a homo? So if a uh, producer came over and he said he had a part in a movie like, let's say, nine and a half weeks, would, would you, you do, do it? that? It depends, yeah. I, I can see that at least. But she yeah. do she do just about oh, anything on film or in a, th- no, in a I theater. I wouldn't do rat. just about anything on film. That's not true. Would, it, would you be with a goat? <laughs> oh. What is it, Sutherland John? The question you should be asking Patrick is, does he get aroused when he does his part? Mm. He oh, does? John. <laughs> oh, John. have they had this discussion? You, you can stay here, John. Hey, thank John, you. John, you're man. supposed to be a friend. Yeah. John, come here. Yeah, you know. Is that right? John is a jerk. You got aroused? Oh, come on. Oh, well. You're a jerk, man. Oh, Sometimes, man. yeah. You, you do? Crazy. Sometimes, yeah. You do get aroused. Well, for me, you know, if you're acting, you should be as real as possible. <laughs> That's what that I told you, would just be a, a symbol of that, right? And don't tell me you don't get aroused. Do you it's, get excited? No. I then don't. you're not acting, according to Patrick. You are such a lot. You know she gets I excited. I am not. You don't get. You don't. Your body fluids don't start to go. No, not really. You don't I'm sense that you're feeling something. You. He's a good-looking guy. <laughs> you're such a liar. 
Uh, Allison, I'm shocked. Me. You get aroused, right? I know you're lying. I just know it. I am shocked at lying. You. My wife would be totally jazzed if she was kissing this guy. <laughs> and you... Yes, God. Jazzed. She's looking for any work She'd be yeah. jazzed. And let me tell you something, honey. You're totally jazzed, too. I'm not jazzed. No, you're just running out every night of the week to win. <laughs> yeah, running out of the house in different skimpy outfits. Fred told me the whole story. Uh, Fred, I wear these dresses anyway. You know mm, that. Yeah. Well, maybe you should dress a little more conservatively. Maybe you should be with Fred. And what were you doing out the other night without Fred? At a bar. Oh, Fred, you, what's going on? What? What are you talking about? What? Your wife doesn't leave the house from time to time without you? Oh, I, oh, Not going to I bars, see, singles bars. I went to see Not John's a girl. Bar. Nobody said it was a singles bar. Oh, yes, it is. It wasn't is a it singles a singles bar, bar John? Can I answer? Just a bar. Yeah, just, just a bar. bar. Yeah, what is just a bar? I went to see Susanna, uh, John's girlfriend, who's uh, also Oh, your little show, friends too. from the play? Now she's oh, hanging out with the other are actors. You, oh, you're a theater person now? You have all your little theater <laughs> friends? I really ain't. Oh, man. She has her own social life now? Guaranteed you're divorced in two years. Hey, you want to know something? That's okay. Okay. That's right. That's okay. You'll, and believe me, I'll get you a better dial a date the next time. Oh, that's I can do, not I can true. Do well I'll get you a real actress. I'll well get you Pamela. Every, no, I'm going to get you another well girlfriend. Every phone Thank call we've been getting is, is they want to see another dial a date for Fred. Yeah. That's not... Can you just, like, you know stop what's funny? putting a wedge between my marriage? Because it's not going to happen. It is going to happen. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, Howard, like, you, you may want... About anything. Howard, Allison, you may you're want totally to unrealistic. Happen. Robin, why am I unrealistic? Because you're I'm not acting. an actress. You're not... Don't say you're acting. You're kids. Do the scene for me. Why won't you do it? What's... Why should I do the scene if for you so right now? Innocent because you're so innocent and there's nothing to it. Because this will be on e-television. Tons of directors will see it. Tons of producers will see it. Oh, and but what, you know what, Howard? But you know what? You know deep down inside, it won't get you any work But you scene. know what? It'll it's get him not, work, not you. If this was a speaking part, she'd do it in a minute. Yeah. But you won't do the scene. There's you're embarrassed by the scene. What you're doing. Let me see you two do the scene. Patrick's willing to do it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, Howard, no. No, he's only saying that because you object, Alex. <laughs> he's, he's an actor. He's a professional actor. You. you put this guy in a garbage pail, he'll do professional acting. He'll come acting. over and kiss me. <laughs> he's looking for a break. <laughs> There's a so process, Robin, you Howard. A process, my play. ass. You never had to do a scene? You ever see Star Search? In two seconds, they get up and do a scene. Yeah. Star Search? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're putting down Star Search? Oh, that's right. You're a professional <laughs> actress. I forgot. Let Star me see you Search. go on Star Search. <laughs> At least they might win $100,000. Did you hear his wife? Fred, did you hear your wife? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Star Search. <laughs> what are you throwing papers at me for, Sorry, Jackie? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we don't believe Howard, in Star why Search. why are you so mean to me? Let me see you kiss. Why are you being because so Fred's my friend. This guy's been with me since Hartford. We love Fred, believe well, it I or not. Fred and I know too. Fred's personality. And I, I know Fred, Fred can't communicate with people and tell them how he feels. He, I've I'm told his her wife. He yeah. communicates you, with you, me. Let me tell you something. He communicates with Mars. Can he tell you how much this hurts? Now, why are you putting me down? Yeah. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Why not? All right, like, I apologize. You're, supposed to be my you're right. You're right. You're putting me down. I just you know how you are. No, no, you don't. You really don't know. I had you over my house. You couldn't even tell me you don't like hot dogs. Don't. I had to like get it out of him. That's nine years. Yeah, you didn't like fish. That's nine years ago. It was hundred years ago. But this is my wife, and I should be able to tell her what I feel. I do know. you tell her what you feel? No, yes, not really. Oh, you, uh, see, I bet you, you haven't said to her, please quit know. the show. I, I wouldn't say that to her. What did you, you say to her? That? I wouldn't say that to so her. So what are you going to say to her? I have said to her, I'm not happy that you're kissing this guy. Are you contemplating her leaving choice. her? It is are her you choice. contemplating leaving no, her? No, I'm not. You're not? No, I'm not. There is nothing do that you feel that she... And it has not changed your feelings at all. Do you think that she's a liar? Do I think she's a liar? No. Do you believe her when she says she doesn't get if excited kissing this liar, guy? If I thought she was a liar, if I thought she was really getting off on this guy, there would be then no, you're, then no, you know what, pal? no choice. You're hallucinating. Okay. Then I'm hallucinating. Listen, Junior, he I'm going to tell you something. And, and, and rightly so. Because you want to know something? Then Honestly, he's the only one I'm who not can threatened turn her by this guy no matter, how much, <laughs> no matter how much you guys want to build him up to being good looking. He's a really good looking guy. No, but you see, that, that's the whole thing. It's the like, guy's a really handsome guy. So what if he's good And she's getting aroused. All right, all right, he's, wait a minute. She's not getting aroused. You're, you're Fred, you're she's just not. Fred. Is Billy Baldwin a good looking guy? Yeah, but you want to know something? He is so flat. Same Fred, thing with this guy. If I told you today, uh, if I no told you today, there's no passion in this man. There's no passion in <laughs> Billy Baldwin. They are walls. Fred, can I tell you something? Come on. I don't care about passion. If I told you today, your wife loves you because you're good looking, it. or because you have a no. good heart, and because you have a good. My wife loves me because I have a good personality. Right. Excuse me, what are we talking about? We're not talking about her being in love with the guy. But We're that, talking about this, her getting see, sexually this, turned on. Sexually Fred, when you go to, if I told you for you the next, if Fred, that. if I told you for the next year mm. i need you every day to come in here right and make out with amy lynn mm. all right i could do it no you could do it i could do it you don't think you'd have sexual thoughts no do you think you'd get aroused 
Mm, probably not. Oh. You get aroused at scores? <laughs> probably not. You get aroused at scores? No count. All right. <laughs> you picked the wrong example with Amy. Right. <laughs> Patrick was laughing at that one. Like, Don't try to pass this off as work. <laughs> Come on, he knows. Yeah, he what knows about the all truth. that scores, all those lap dances? Yeah, we know. get aroused. We okay. get absolutely aroused. So we admit it. At least we get aroused. Aroused. Yeah. So what about you? Do you get aroused? I really don't, but what's the oh, big Oh, you don't deal? at all. You don't have any feeling in between your legs when you're kissing no. him. No. I, no. I, all right. All right. I haven't been to scores, <laughs> yeah. Howard, but I don't think that Fred is kissing these women. No. When he gets sexually no, aroused. No, they're just, they're just humping him while he sits no, there. No, that's not true. That's not true. And whatever else goes on in scores, too. Yeah. All right, so Nothing why don't you leave him? Dark At least he goes there and he's honest about it. <laughs> Do the scene for me, actress. Do the scene if you're such an actress. Come on, we'll, everyone's we'll watching. give you lighting and I got, I got cameras. I got everything. I got, go. I got a bigger audience. I got millions of people. <clears throat> we need some ziti. Uh -uh. Patrick, you do this thing. <laughs> yeah, we gotta eat ziti. <laughs> Here we go. Very nerve wracking, obviously. You're a nun. You're a nun. Go ahead. I got it. You don't have to wear the costume to know you're, you're frustrated, a nun. You're frustrated, you're questioning your vows. Go ahead. Go. go. And action. <laughs> and you're drunk. That's good. Go ahead. And action. I'm nervous. All right, that's okay. <clears throat> and action. I'm Ivan Reitman. And action. What are you doing, Terry? Yeah. What do you want? I'm here, Terry. Come on. No, I don't think this is a good idea. What's the matter? Come on, you know you want me. Uh, no, I don't want you. Come on, you don't. I, no, I don't. I don't Come on, Terry, want you. Let me kiss you. No, I don't oh. want you. Come on. I don't. I don't think this is a good idea. What about Donna? You look good. <laughs> what about Donna? This. Oh, you feel good. No, I don't think this is a Come good on, idea. Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry, give me a kiss. I don't think so. Dominic, Smile, you don't no. like me no more. No, I do like you, but I'm a nun now. Why not? Give me a kiss. I'm a nun, no. Smile. I take my final vows in three months. I used to love to kiss me. No, no. Come on, Terry, give me a kiss. No, I don't think that's a good idea. What's the matter? Kiss Huh? Oh, not a good idea. Oh, Christ. What's the matter, Huh? I can't do this. <laughs> Allison, you're supposed to be getting into what it. What happened? That was That's fantastic. It. You're good. You were great. That's it. We were doing it. He's choked it. up, Howard. Look. No, no. I no, can't no, even no. stand up. I know. Dude, you were getting not. into it. Ah, and Allison wasn't, oh, Allison wasn't acting. Oh, is that cheating? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It got so intimate, she started pushing him <laughs> off. What's the matter? You didn't use mouthwash? I mean, my God. Oh, my God. Fred, that was one of the hottest sex scenes I've ever yeah. seen in my life. That was great. Yeah. It was good for me. <laughs> it was great for me. I got aroused. <laughs> okay, you must be leading a dull life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was uh, something else there. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. Okay. All hey. I know is that Allison looked nice at job. me like a woman who had to fight him off. Oh, please. <laughs> well, I do have to fight him off. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I predict big things for you, sir. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to kiss you. Uh, please. Hey, no. baby, what? Well, can on. he be the nun now? Watch me. I can do that scene. Let me do that with you. Come here, wait a second. Let me try. Let me try a little acting. Let me try a little acting. Hold on. Let me try your scene. You What's your name, Pete? No. His Dominic. name is uh, Dominic. Dominic. Hey, wait. Let me see this. Let me see this scene. You know, I love this. Move act. out of the way, Allison. A real actress is going to take oh, the job. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You wearing panties? Come here. Get by the microphone. <laughs> Fred, here, I'm oh, I thought he was going to play the nun. Want... He's going to play the uh, Dominic I'm character. Dominic. <laughs> What's the matter, baby? You don't want me? <laughs> What's the matter? I can't. I What's can't. What's the matter? Oh, I'm come a nun. I'm come taking on. my you know final vows. I don't want you. Know. Come on. You know you I want me. Come, come on. Come on. What are you doing? What Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. You know you want it. I'm taking my final vows in three months. I can't. Oh, man. Hey, Jackie, try a seat. Oh, say, is she easy? Oh, man, this is great. Jackie, give it a shot. Everybody ahead, take Jackie. a number. Go ahead. Do your scene, Jackie. Oh, 
Oh, well, Jackie's you afraid. I ain't doing it. John, <laughs> John, try that. John, 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 John. I'll tell you one thing. John ain't touching my wife. Uh, oh, it's a scene. It's a scene. It's acting. It's acting. Back and he ain't touching my wife. It's acting. It's acting. It's acting. It's acting. Go ahead. Do a scene. Do a scene. Do a scene. my wife. You touch my wife, you are a dead man. Ready. Ready. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Dead man. You are nuts. I don't know. You are nuts. You are nuts. You are nuts. You are nuts. A little scene. You are nuts. You are nuts. You are nuts. You are nuts, y'all, Freddy. You're a nut bag. You want to go outside? I'll take you outside any time. Go ahead. 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 You're Fred, nuts. You're Fred, a nut job. Fred, sit down. Billy, right. do a scene. No, I'm not an actor. Gary, want to do a scene with Allison? <laughs> hey, Gary, you believe this? What, we'll do a, I want to do a scene, and I don't want to get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all pussies. All right, John, I, just I had, had an act with Allison. I had my hand on her chest. After that, Charles Manson over there? You're only, you. Freddie, you're only a job away from Charles Manson. Let me tell you yeah, that right yeah, now. Yeah. All set to beat up a friend for seven years. You're going to beat me up because, well, Howard, you know, because Howard asked me to do John, a scene? John, God, you're you got to be kidding me. You're not an actor. All right, well, we'll see. You're not an actor. I'm more of an actor Oh, yeah? I see, I see you act. No, you have Yes, I have. I went to your play. You want to get into it, Fred? I'll get into oh, it, all right? Okay. So, so, I'll get so into it anytime you want, Go man. ahead. Anytime you want, Freddie. Anytime, all right? Go ahead. Okay? Go ahead. God, you get mad at me. Yeah. Give me a break. Give me a break, Fred. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I think he really loves you. No, it's okay. Meanwhile, Allison. meanwhile, you didn't Allison. do the scene, did you, Paul? Allison, who's overreacting here? Me or him? I think he really loves you. You are. <laughs> You I didn't am, do huh? the scene, hey, John. Okay. I'll tell you one thing. You well, guys are nuts. I, I just had a great scene. scene. <laughs> I would, Robin, would you do it after that? Sure. <laughs> yeah, hey, Fred, yeah. man. <laughs> your wife is good. I don't know, I know John. she is. Man, that was a good scene I just had. Gosh, I've known the guy for eight years. <laughs> oh, wow. He really he loves you, John. <laughs> yeah, Fred. That was, that was love. That was That's, a good scene. There you go. What scene between uh, John and Fred? No. <laughs> he does love My you. scene with his wife. <laughs> you enjoyed yourself? Jackie, give it a shot. I'm telling you, Everybody man. Everybody else is afraid. I had my hands right near her chest. Go. I just saw him almost kill John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even touching Patrick. <laughs> Wait a minute. We want to see what Fred's reaction will be if you're doing the scene. Oh, uh, Jackie, you're good at it. You can do <laughs> that. Why don't you come over and do a Lesbo yeah. scene, Robin? Oh, please. Go. Yeah. Go ahead, Jackie. See, that I would do with Robin. Jackie, go yeah. ahead. Come Allison on, do Robin. That, Robin. Do that. Come, come on, Miss Big Mouth. Was an actress. Big friggin' yeah. mouth. Come on, Allison will do it with you. <laughs> Allison will kiss you. I never you. said I was an actress. Yeah, you'd like it too much. It your friend. Go God ahead, is, Jay. God is, what's the difference between John doing a scene and the next guy who takes over the next role after Patrick? He's jealous leaves? of me. He's jealous of me. He's jealous. Yeah, he's bitter about me. How am I jealous? Because you're, you're bitter about what me. What do you hey. care? You let your wife you do. You let your John, wife do I'm a not scene. Not that so why would it matter? Why would it matter me? Why would Jackie be allowed and not me? I, I didn't say Jackie could do it. You didn't protest. I don't want You to didn't protest. Because Jackie's not going to do it. Oh, Jackie, he's, he's a gentleman. Oh, You're give me a... Oh, and Howard's not a gentleman? I'm not. Look, Howard's goofing around. <laughs> I wasn't oh, goofing around. Howard's, oh, Howard's really Freddy. kissing. What yeah, I had, I had her lips. <laughs> okay. Fred, they're all kidding around. I know. Oh, yeah, we're all kidding. Meanwhile, you let this guy, uh, Patrick, kiss your wife, but you won't let John. What's the difference? Because I don't understand. Patrick's an actor. <laughs> so am I, Freddie. Boy, I'll act no, right now. John, I'll do it for you right now. You tell me how good I do while I'm kissing Let's see how you do. Go ahead, John. All right, give him a chance. No. Oh, I'll do it right now. We'll see how real I get. No. Come on, John. It doesn't matter because nobody not. ends up kissing me anyway. So hey, let me see you do it. Don't kiss me so much. John. Go ahead, John. Let me see. Uh, Are you kidding? No, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me Howard, see you. Howard, Howard, I'm telling you, I will Why not, John? I will not be all right. Why would no, you let Patrick do it and we only John? No means no. Oh. <laughs> no, no means no. yes. I'd go Is do it anyway. Is there anybody in the room else who can? I wouldn't listen to you. you I'd can. go do you it. You can, Robin. <laughs> it was worth it. I'm not in the Robin. room. I'm not in the room. Well, we can get in the room. John, do the scene. Howard, are you nuts? I'll do it. <laughs> I, I mean, did but it. Look go at ahead. You want to know something? You want to let him do it? Then, then I'm gonna leave. Oh, you have to leave the room, or are you no, gonna leave the I will, show? I will leave the show. Hold on. You're for quitting? good? You're quitting? Oh, for good. Come on. Oh, wait a second. Ready. Don't make that offer. Hold on. Oh, 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 that's what you want. Now we know how to get. That's what you want. That's what you want. Are you that's serious? Fine. You would leave I the will, show? I will not allow it. Then they'll fire your wife. The knee both you'll be out of work. There you go. What are you gonna do then? <laughs> we'll go on and watch Sony. Fred, suppose I play Dominic in the play. Then would you leave this show because if I'm in, if I have to do it in the play? Would they let you play that role? Yeah. To do it. Yeah. To do it. And then would you leave this show? I would not let my